I love how they did this also because they all look like assassins, you know? Yeah. I was thinking Laura Croft. Yes. And, yeah. Jenny looked like Laura Croft. Yes. I feel like it's in these kind of music videos that you can really tell whether or not an idol has acting chops. More like, um, I don't know, that <laughs> we're over and I might slash your tires. <laughs> Hey K-pop fans, welcome back to K-Core Girls. Welcome if you're new here. I am Mer. I am Free. And it's Throwback Thursday! <laughs> <laughs> Today we are watching Blackpink's uh, Kill This Love. Yep. It's been a while since they put out anything, so we kind of have to do <laughs> throwback Thursdays to listen to them. <laughs> yeah. So. I almost want to say that Blackpink always seems to have a long gap of time between comebacks. Because Blackpink was the first K-pop group I ever got into. Ever. Like, it was when I didn't even like K-pop. Well, I didn't really know what it was, but I was like dead set on like, I'm not going to be a K-pop fan, but I like Blackpink and that's it. Um, <laughs> and that's how it was for a long time. And I remember like waiting for, for them to put out something new and it just always seemed like such a long time. Mm -hmm. um, and I will say, you know, out of a lot of their songs, this one might be one of my favorites from them. Because our last Throwback Thursday that we did for Blackpink, you had picked it, which was one of your favorites. Um, Boombaya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was like, okay, this time we're going to pick out one of my favorites. And I like this one. I love Lisa's rapping in it. Lisa's rapping in it just... It's phenomenal. It just is. Jenny's as well. Um, so... But hopefully they release something new soon. It would be nice. I do think, actually, I could be wrong. Um, but I do think I heard something about them having a comeback this year. I'm not sure when, but... Oh, that should be... Sometime this year. <laughs> they have a movie coming out, right? I don't think it's come out yet. I thought they had a full-length film coming out. But not already. Yeah. That up. I don't know. <laughs> no, I remember hearing about it, but I think it might be out already. I don't know. I might have to Google oh. that. Okay. I but must yeah. miss the release. <laughs> I miss all the releases, yeah, so right. <laughs> um. But yeah. Before we jump onto this one, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe for more, and what else, Mer? Hit that bell hit the bell, turn on those notifications. Also, check us out on our socials. We have Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And we also have Discord server open to any and everyone. Um, all those little lovely links are down below. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump into Kill This Love, which I will say real quick, I think this is funny. Cause, and I did not mean to time it like this. I really, really didn't. But today's Valentine's Day. Our, uh, our day of recording is Valentine's Day. This is right. a week before we actually put it out. Or several days before we actually put it out. Whatever. Um, but yeah, recording day is Valentine's Day. And we're listening to Kill This Love. So I just I find it right. ironic. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> perfect timing. Okay. Right. I love the blue ponytail. Yeah. I 
iconic theme too. Right. A mermaid, like just <laughs> peeking out, right? And I love the choreography for this one, too. Yeah. I love how they did this also because they all look like assassins, you know? Yeah. I was thinking Laura Croft. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jenny looked like Laura Croft. Yes. You look crazy. Thank you, baby. I love that love is my favorite, but you plus me, Sally, can be dangerous. Look at me. Look at you. Can't go get what's my we lie. So I So this video has so many different scenes too. It just amazes me how much they were able to fit into this video without it without it seeming crowded too. Like it just works. Right. Gotta love the giant bear trap. <laughs> I love this part too. They look badass right here. Thank you. said this video I used another coincidence for me today because I forgot Lisa did the, the, the bum buns in that one oh. scene and I, did, I right. didn't realize it until she came on the screen and I was like oh wait um <laughs> <laughs> yeah gosh like I was saying this video has so much in it so many different scenes different outfits different looks and it works yeah. It does, yeah. They're really, really different in scenes, but yet they still somehow fit together really well. They pulled it off really, really well. It's such a nice beat to the song, too. Even, you know, it's talking about basically heartbreak and breaking up and stuff like that. It still has, like, a really nice, catchy beat. And, yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think it's, it's I don't know. Because it's not so much about their heartbreak. As much as right. it was about breaking someone else's heart. I, so it's not really yeah. sad to them. I, I, that's no, the way no. I take it. Right. Yeah. Um, More like, um, I don't know, that <laughs> we're over and I might slash your tires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I can see that. Yep. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, what I was gonna say, my favorite part though in this is probably Lisa's big grocery store. Well, I don't say grocery store, her big store of cereal all over the place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one's probably one of my favorites. But I will say too, I think because we know Jisoo's doing a K drama, <laughs> um, which is called Snowdrop. And I feel like it's in these kind of music videos that you can really tell whether or not an idol has acting chops. And like that part with Jisoo and like the almost creepy haunted hallway looking thing, like you can tell, you know, that she's gonna be good at acting because she pulls that scene off so well. And same for Rose, the part where she's like driving and crying her eyes out, that girl was made for yeah. K drama. She needs to get on a show right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And like I said, I love all the outfits. 
all the hairstyles. Right? And you were right on the ball, too, with the Lara Croft. Jenny looks like Lara Croft in, in that one scene. I always thought right. that when I first saw it. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's, like, kind of, like, um, behind them, not like a temple, but some kind of... Like, ruins... Old, yeah, ruins, you know, crumbling ruins and stuff behind them. So it really gives that Laura Croft feel to it. So. I never thought of it that <laughs> way, too. That does, yeah. Yeah. Put Jenny in that outfit and that hair with that background, and it's like something straight out of a Laura Croft movie. Straight Tomb Raider. Yeah. Right. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just... I just feel like this is one of those iconic songs. I think this was probably the first ever song that pulled me into not just Blackpink. Well, Blackpink first um, before I got into K-pop. This was probably like my first ever like K-pop song that I was like, oh, I like this. I mean, outside yeah. of like, like the classics, like Big Bang. Because for a long time, I had no idea Big Bang was even K-pop because I didn't even know what the heck Big ba what what K-pop was. Um, but I knew Blackpink was K-pop. And that mm -hmm. this song was the first one that was like, oh, I can get with this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think the first one that I liked that I didn't know was K-pop as far as Blackpink goes was... Uh... Do 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 I think. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was good. like everywhere. You would hear it on like little clips and stuff. Everybody was using it for mm -hmm. short clips. YouTube, not YouTube. <laughs> like TikTok and um, I don't know, IG and stuff like that. Just short little no. snippets of it. So it's catchy. So oh <laughs> yeah, sense. for sure. All their songs are. And I love how their yeah. songs are always like badass sounding because I think that was one of my things before I got into K-pop. I was very much on the mindset of it's super cutesy and just not my thing, um, especially when it comes to girl groups. And then I saw Blackpink and I was like, well, that's not really cutesy. That's, that's kind of badass. Um, <laughs> that that yeah. really pulled me in first. I was like, these, these chicks yeah. are like... They're tough, and I mean, they can do cutesy, and they can do soft, and you know, but it was this kind of vibe that first pulled me in right away. Right. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think they were the first ones that I was like, okay, so I do like <laughs> girl <laughs> K-pop groups, <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, this was just an overall great one. And I look forward to more from them. I feel like when they come out with a, a, a new comeback, they always come out with bangers right away before they get into like some other stuff. Cause like their last one, it was, you know, how you like that. And then following that, we had like ice cream, which was more cutesy and lovesick girls, which was still badass, but slightly more on the softer side. So I'm expecting a banger from them for the next comeback. I'm hoping for it anyways. I just feel like they yeah. do that so well. I mean, they do it also well, but yeah, that's what I'm hoping yeah. for. Yeah, me too. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. Let us know what you all think in the comments below. What's your favorite Blackpink song? Um, is there anyone that any any one of those songs pulled you in more to the genre or into the group? Um, drop all of that below and drop us your suggestions if you have other. Blackpink songs or videos that you'd like us to check out, let us know. We can add them to our list. Most likely Throwback Thursday because I'm pretty sure we've seen them all. Um, <laughs> yeah. We'll go ahead and let y'all go. Y'all have a great rest of your day and we'll see you later. <laughs>